I was gonna make a bunch of jokes about size mattering right now, but I've heard that if you joke like that in the first few seconds of the video, you get demonetized, so we won't. Hi everybody, today I'm taking a look at the Pentel Arts Sign Pens Micro Brush Sets. Now I bought two different sets, I bought them both at my Michaels. This is the Fashion Colors set right here, and this is the Primary Colors. I haven't seen these much of anywhere else. Like I looked online, I couldn't find them on the Pentel website. I looked, I didn't look so hard, they might be on there and I just missed them, but at a glance and like, rudimentary Google searching led me to Michaels. The other pens that show up when you search for these are just the regular sign brush pens. These guys, not these little ones. I hadn't even heard of these until I happened to see them one day in a Michaels. They're not inexpensive. They are $29.99 for a pack of six and with both of these I used because I bought them on two separate occasions. They I used a 40% off coupon. That brought the price to a cool $19.38 each with, so with the coupon. But I ordered one set online and I did a store pickup because they're not in stock online but you can buy them in store. But I couldn't find the primary colors in store. I found the fashion pens at a different store in the store and that's where I first figured them out, like learned about them. But these guys, they said they had them at my store, I couldn't find them, so I ordered them online and picked them up and somehow they did. A total of 12 colors here. I'm curious to see how the colors compare to their, these guys again and I can't compare them directly with all of them because I can't find all of my pens of these. The information on these pens are as follows, at least the best information I can get. Micro synthetic brush hair tip, tiny hairline strokes to wide lines, ideal for hand lettering and calligraphy, used for sketchbooks in small miniature illustrations and they're water based. So those are the claims. They don't say anything about dry time but we'll test all of them out. So let's open these up and take a look at them. Just come in like a regular blister pack. I'm pulling this blue one out because I had, I was able to find this blue and the colors look very similar when you compare the pens. This looks maybe a little brighter than this one, but they're similar in body. This the same shape, the same feel. They've both got that same, it's hard to see on camera, but there's like a shimmery, like glittery background for the pens. It's like the color and then it's kind of like, or maybe like, like granite or something like it's smooth but it has like a, a patterny kind of speckly look now the information on the side is different these say the color name on them and there's a stripe of the color the cap is the same coming off it's nice and firm going back on it snaps on the other end it goes on and it stays on nice and snug the pen itself is fairly short but when you add the cap to it and like i said it's very snug it's much more comfortable for my larger, heavy hand. Now the bristles are much different than these Fude soft tips. These Fude soft tips are solid, but these bristles are, they're just that, they're bristles. I don't wanna push them apart too much, but they're very, they are not like a solid soft, like a solid tip, like a Tombow or like these Fudes. Here are the two nib sizes compared. You can see that the Fude tip is a little thicker and shorter, kind of like a chode, if you know what that is. <laughs> and the micro brush tip is very narrow and longer, but super skinny and comes to a very, very fine point. Now the ink colors, this top one is the Fude soft tip and this one is the other blue. Very, very similar to each other. The Fude just seems to be a little juicier, but let's see how this writes. Now, much like I could have expected, it's extremely flexible because of the kinds of nibs it is. And it's not very clean, which again comes into play when you like know that this is a bristle nib and not a solid nib. Like it's not gonna be perfectly clean, especially if you're heavy handed like I am, which is fine. But because of how skinny this is, like this is how big of a fat downstroke I can get. But you can see here it was kind of touching, the back end was kind of touching on it. But then my upstroke is damn near non-existent. So there's a very wide variety of stroke sizes. That took some effort to write that neatly with my heavy hand, but I could totally see this working for somebody with a more delicate touch. I'm so heavy handed, it's a little hard for me. And they come down kind of juicy. Like you can see if you're looking close here that some of the color lays down a little heavier than the rest just by nature of the brush pen. I should also mention, just like the other Pentels, these are not perfectly round. They are slightly like 
maybe octagonal, some amount of gone. You know, that like there's there's corners on this, which keeps it kind of from rolling. But if that's something that you find uncomfortable, it's something to be aware of. Further up, it's smoother and doesn't have those ridges. Try a different color. Let's try brown. I'm actually curious if this is anything similar to the sign brush pens in terms of colors, and that means that baby poops in here somewhere too. Yeah, you have to be very careful with these. They're very delicate. Careful in the sense that, you know, the control. You have to be very controlled with these maybe is the best look. Okay, so this pack comes with, I'll go through the colors when I swatch, but the primary pack, come, they both come with six pens. The primary pack comes with a black. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then it's got blue, red, yellow, green, and brown. Not sure when brown was considered a primary color. Let's see how black the black is. It's got that same scratchy look as the other colors and it doesn't lay down perfectly opaque black. It's a little bit transparent. All right, let's look at the fashion colors really quick just to kind of glance. I, I wanna see the poop brown. And yes, they have it. They call it yellow ochre. That's the color. They have the same feeling. So I'm curious to see how these work with water because they are water, water ink. So here blending it out a little bit you can absolutely soften the fresh ink. You can see there, softens. I wonder if I can blend some of this brown into the poo and make it like a poo swirl. Yeah, see, look at that. They blend beautifully. Now I wonder how they go like into wet. Here's some wet right there and we'll take this pink. Very pretty. So they blend nicely with water. Now this blue is dry because I already used it. If I go into it with water, I can break it up a little bit. The lines are still there, but as you can see, even though it's dry, I can pull the color out. These could be a lot of fun for like sketching. Like if you didn't want to take watercolors with you, you could just take these guys with you in your watercolor sketchbook and a water brush and do blending that way. Now I want to see how quickly they dry. So we'll take this purple, I think it's called violet, and we'll just do Remember they did not have any claims. Oh yeah, like that's just nice and smudgy. So I would not consider these fast drying at all. <laughs> they go down fairly inky, but not like so inky that they saturate the paper completely. As you can see here, like there's not much of a bleed through. And I'm gonna do a swatch page right now. We'll check and see how they do on Scribbles That Matter paper. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then I'm gonna compare them as a color selection to the flexible point, the sign pen brush, the other Pentel sign pens, like the more standard ones that people know. If it's, I think it's the same color combination, but we'll, we'll double check to see the difference. So here are the colors, and I'm pretty convinced this is the same color lineup as the other pens. And I will tell you right now, writing all of these words was a struggle for me. I'm not gonna lie, it was a struggle. The colors are really pretty. As for bleed through, they really don't. They shadow a little bit on the scribbles that matter, but like no more than any other brush pen I use. So in terms of that, I would suggest that these are generally okay to be tested out in your planner. But if you want a brush letter with these, I would not suggest it if you're a beginner. And if you're heavy handed, I would be careful. I wanna take a second and compare the colors that I could find. Now the Pentel sign, food, like the flexible nib brush pens that you can buy on like Amazon, at Target, for 12 pens, 12 colors. So this is 12 colors here and without a coupon, it's $60 for these pens, $29.99 for six. Even with a coupon, it's $40. If you spend a 40% off coupon on each, it's $40 or so for 12 pens. These ones on Amazon currently are $16.90 and I've gotten them for around 20 bucks at Target before. I can't find all of the colors. I only found nine out of the 12. 
because I've had these for years and I've used them off and on. But the colors I do have, I'm gonna compare to the colors I have here to just test and see if they're the same because it is the same lineup. So let's just test these against each other to see if they're the same colors, all right, of the ones I've got. I'm just gonna go down the list. The ones I'm missing currently are the black, the brown, and the violet, it looks like. Those are the three that I can't find at the moment. I have no idea where they are. They're somewhere in my house. And I will do the sign Fude pen on the left and the micro brush pens on the right. All right, so I'm hoping you can see what I'm seeing here. They're basically the same colors. The big difference is these ones, the Sign Fude Touch pens, go down more saturated. They're also easier to manage. Like these pens, I could recommend these to a beginner. I would not in a million years recommend this to a beginner. The other thing you can see here with some of the colors is that it's harder to see on camera, but I can see it. The Sign Fude Touch for some of the pens are more saturated, so they bleed through a little bit more. Not all of the colors, but like the blue and the green specifically. This pen bled through more than this pen. So I would almost say these are more planner safe, but these are easier to use. I also would say that just cost wise. So overall, these are interesting. These could be fun for sketching. These could be fun for some sloppy lettering. I, I'm gonna experiment with these and see if I can find some good uses for them. But if you were looking for a Pentel brush pen to buy, I would say forget trying to, these ones are, okay. So let me just say why I would recommend these over these or many other brush pens over these right now. The big recommendations, because the ink is beautiful. There are many downsides to these pens as I see it. For one, the price of these, way more expensive than say these pens, way more expensive. These are harder to find. They're hard to find online. And at Michael's, I had to jump through hoops to get my hands on both sets. Two separate Michael's, one bought online, one bought in store. More of a pain in the ass. These are usually available on Amazon or you can get them at Target much easier to get your hands on. So the price is better, the availability is better, and these are much easier to use than these. If you're looking for something kind of looser with bristles, this could be something to look at. But for me, I will just keep recommending these guys or their counterpart, the Kelly Who Creates Small Brush Pens. Let me know what brush pens you'd like me to take a look at in the comments below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.